Okay, today we are going to find the factors for 18 and 24 using natural numbers um, 1 through 24. And we're going to do this today by creating a Venn diagram of our factors. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my Venn diagram. I draw my box around it as well. Since we're having to use the uh, natural numbers 1 through 24, we also need a place for the numbers that are not a factor of either one, and that's what the square is for. So we'll put 18 here and 24 here. Now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and write out my factors for 18 and for 24 first so I can see which ones are in common. Um, for 18 I know that 1 and 18, that's a factor pair. It's even, so 2 goes in. 2 goes in 9 times, because 1 and 8 is 9, so you know that 18 is divisible by 9. Um, 3 also goes in. It actually goes 6 times, and if you weren't sure of that, uh, one of our divisibility rules states that if 2 and 3 go into a number, then 6 must also go. Now I need to drop them down to 24. We know that 1 goes into it as well as 24. I'm going to put it down here because I know there's more factors. Hopefully I can fit them all. 2 goes in, 2 goes in 12 times, just half it. 2 and 4 makes 6, so we know 3 goes in. 3 goes in 8 times, I'm going to put 8 right here um, between 6 and 9. Um, 4 as, goes in as well, 4 goes in 6 times. 7 does not, 9 does not, I think that is all of them. So I know they're a little bit spread out, but it, you can easily see which ones they have in common this way. Now, for a Venn diagram, the ones that they have in common go in the middle, just like any Venn diagram when you're comparing and contrasting. So, they have in common 1, 2, 3, and then 6. It's hard to see the 6, sorry. Um, now, any factors that 18 has that 24 does not needs to go on the side for 18. So that would be 9 and 18. Any factors that 24 has that 18 does not goes on the side of 24. And that would be 4, 8, 12, and 24. Okay, now, since our direction said we need to use natural numbers 1 through 24, we need to make sure every number is accounted for. And so any uh, number that is 1 through 24 that does not appear on either list needs to go outside the circles. So we just need to check. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. There is no 5, so 5 will go on the outside. There is a 6. No 7, so we need to add 7. There's an 8, there's a 9, no 10, 11. We do have 12 over here, um, so we need 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have an 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23. Now this is our Venn diagram. It is complete at this point. And what students are going to realize in the next chapter actually is that if you look um, at the factors that 18 and 24 share, you can easily find the GCF or the greatest common factor. That is the biggest one in the middle, which would be 6. Um, so they, they'll be able to see that later on. Um, if you have any further questions um, while you're studying for this, you can email me and I will try to get back to you. Um, I will also try to post one over multiples using a Venn diagram as well. Thanks.